Hey guys, it's Joe B. I got a video here. I wanted to do an unboxing. I know all my stuff is a little all over the place, but this one is really cool. Um, the Garbage Pail Kids, you know, they came out in 1985 with the cards, but in 2016, they came out with these Funko Pop vinyl figures. So what we got here is each vinyl figure is, is small. You can tell by the size of my hand, the approximate size of what we got. Comes in a box. The thing that wasn't attractive to me is that it's a mystery box, so you don't know what's going to be in there. These are the 12 that are possibly available in these boxes. So I picked up a case, which is 12. And the cool part about this case is it came in the original Funko shipping box, so I know that they didn't open it and mess with it. I got this for about 100 bucks. And I'm going to open them all because they're, uh, they're something I'm looking for. I want to complete complete the set of 12 so let's just go ahead and do this we'll see what we've got in here okay what's the easy here we go just cut right here I'd like to preserve the boxes because I, I want to keep this the let's the retail value on one right now is they're listed on various sites uh, even though it's been six years or so and I had molded over for a number of years because I just, I don't like the blind buy a, a box or a bag or a pack of whatever and do a blind pick so that you have to buy too many. So I waited for a long time because I just didn't want to buy into that. And as these things started to become more scarce, I thought, you know what, for a hundred bucks, I better pick them up. Otherwise I'm not going to. And there are some that, that are really difficult to get. Obviously the the Atom Bomb is is a classic, you know, when people think of Garbage Pail Kids, they think of the number one card. Uh, the Nasty Nick, the Vampire Guy, the TV Guy. So they're, they're pretty popular just from being classic uh, Garbage Pail images. And now that they... This is really difficult. I don't want to wreck the box, but I might have to put a little muscle into this. I think I'm using the wrong knife. I've got like an old razor. All right, so this is box one. Let's see what we got here in box one. Whatever it was poked through the box a little bit. One, two, three. Is that the devil? Like this devil spear? Oh man, okay, so you don't, you have to actually crack this seal. Inside, of course, is a black bag so that you still can't see what you're dealing with. This one is going to be the alligator, and he comes with a fish. So I had seen some postings online for these figures, and he, they didn't have the fish. So here's your alligator guy, approximate size with the hand. So if you're gonna pick one up on eBay, you gotta make sure you get the fish. Real easy item to lose. I'm sure people have them at the bottom of their toy bins now. All right, so alligator with the fish. Let's move on. We got a lot to open, guys. All right, here we go. Always cut away. Always cut away from your hand or yourself or your arm. There we go. It's not the sharpest razor, but it could still make cause a pause in this video where I gotta go get a napkin. <laughs> My cat's here, he loves plastic, so he's playing with the plastic bags. All right, here we go. I think I would get better at this as we move through these. All right, we got another black bag. Who's inside this one? The one I'm looking for primarily is the Atom Bomb. That would be great, but this one is just as good. This is a great pick. This is the TV guy. Jimmy Jet, the TV set. Maybe not. The head moves. But the important thing is he has the remote. There's a remote in his hand. And the remote is another tw item that's easily lost. So that's, that's really cool. The back of the box shows them with the remote. And again, I've seen these guys on eBay and they don't have the remote. So if you're gonna, if you're, if you're looking to get the figure, you can get them for cheap without the remote. 
but if you want the remote, you're gonna have to pay for it. All right, moving on. Number three, box three. <clears throat> I don't think my knife did anything on that cut. There we go. Plastic coming, coming your way, kitty. Boom. He's pretty excited. I don't know why, but he likes to chew on plastic bags. Does anybody else have a cat that does that? I don't recall having any other cat that liked to do that, but his brother likes to do it too. He's got two cats and they both like to do that. All right, box number three we've got. Just from the feel of it, just from the feel, oh, wait a minute, this one has glasses. Sorry, I know I should just open it and show you. There we go, all right. This is Ghastly Ashley, and her item is her glasses. I think they are removable. I'm not gonna mess with them, but it looks like they were at least attached after the fact at the factory. Well, that's sweet. Three different ones. I'm glad not to pull any duplicates. All right. So what do you guys think of the model where they say just buy a whole bunch and hopefully get a set? I think that if you buy a box of 12, you should just get all 12. All right. Again, opening from the top. Another one is, from a collectability standpoint, does the, having the, the pink box with the figure add to the value? Probably, huh? I mean, you have to open it to know who's in it. And in order to have a complete set, you have to open them. I know that normally in figure situations, new in the box requires that you don't open it. But mystery minis, by nature, you have to open it to know what's in it. All right, so this is number four. This is... Uh, this is the devil guy. What's his name? Hot Scott. Hot Scott's accessory is the pitchfork, which is removable from his hand. There we go, right in the center there. Turn him around. Paintwork is real nice on these. Detail is really good. And they have the stamping on the bottom. Okay, so that's number four. Number five, stay with me guys, this, I know this is a longer video. Number five, opening. Black bag out. Got a mohawk. Oh, this is the uh, this is the paint spray paint graffiti guy. Yep. So the spray paint graffiti guy, his name is New Wave Dave, and his accessory is the spray can. You have to have the spray can if you're going for collectability. On New Wave Dave. I remember I had bought um, some mystery minis, some Marvel ones, years ago. They had the Captain Marvel with the shield. And I remember um, my little boy, he wanted Captain Marvel specifically. Out of a mystery mini, right? So I'm over there at Target, like, feeling all the bags to try and see if I could figure out which one had a shield in it. So I'm like, well, it's going to be a, like a circular disc. So it has to be. And I did. I felt all the bags until I found the one with the shield. So now they put them in these boxes so you can't feel up the figures. It makes it more difficult. We got we to gotta have like a little mini x-ray machine. It lets you just x-ray through. Okay. X-ray specs. Like ones from the comic book. Anybody ever order x-ray specs? Trying to just slide my finger under. I don't want to rip the box. Just got to undo the glue. Man, this one has a little dent in the box too. Jeez. 
how roughed up these, these boxes get on their way here. All right, this is number, let's see, two, four, this is number six. Bag number six, we're still looking for Atom Bomb. With the explosive uh, mushroom cloud head. This is the nerd guy. This is um, Clark Kent, or Nat Nerd, I think was his cousin. So his accessory is his glasses, just like at Ghastly Ashley, which is pretty cool. Okay, box number seven, we're halfway through. Box number seven, coming in. So we'll cut here, open the plastic. got so many plastic wrappers now that my cat is tired of digging through them. He's had his fill. All right. So these are vinyl figures from Funko. And Funko was really smart to diversify and start making not just branded figures, but different sizes. These are smaller. This is uh, this is that snotty one. What's her name? Leaky Lindsay. I think the cop the copy card of this one was uh, Messy Tessie. But I could be wrong. These are all series one. Do you guys remember the series one cards? What's a series one card that they don't have a figure for that they should? I have my pick. The, uh, the electric chair guy. He would be really, really cool if they had one. All right, let's open up number eight, I think. Slice and open. Here's another funny thing. It says age is 15 plus on the box. This is just a, a vinyl figure. Did the company really think that like a 14 year old couldn't handle opening these up and playing with them? That blue opened up easily. Black bag in hand. Number eight. Uh, my guess is Eerie Eric. With the Wolfman. Nope, it's Nasty Nick, the vampire. That's cool, because I didn't have a Nasty Nick. I had bought some on eBay, but when they got here, they didn't have their figure, their um, accessory items. Nasty Nick doesn't have an accessory item. I guess you could consider his cape his accessory item. Okay, in the interest of time, let's keep moving on. Box number nine. Box number nine, coming up. I probably should have undone the plastic before the video, just to make time a little easier. But at least this uh, guarantees the authenticity of what I'm opening. Let's see here. Come on. Get that flap. I'll just pull it a little bit. A butter knife would help here. Or like a letter opener. I didn't know what to expect. I had never opened one of these boxes. All right. So this is number... Whoa. Tumble. Okay, this is number nine. Uh, just been feeling it. Um, no clue. No clue. Let's open it and find out. I know it's not Adam Bomb. This is a Bony Tony. That was a really cool one. I always thought he was a, a season two or a, a second series figure. 
But uh, Boney Tony from the back of the box, he does not have. Wait a minute. Oh, there he is. He doesn't have an accessory. So. All right. <clears throat> I thought he was a Series 2 figure. It's been so long since I looked at the cards. Series 1 and Series 2 are both a lot of fun. Uh, series 3 was great. Series 4 was also pretty good. And 5 was where it started to taper off for me. First 5 Garbage Pail series were really the golden age for me, as far as what I, the cards I remember. But uh, I, was, I was glad to have gotten them. You know, when they first came out, they were 25 cents a pack. 25 cents for a pack of cards, and it came with a piece of gum. And the gum was always dry. But you ate it anyway. There's always that flavor. The gum came in baseball cards too, didn't it? It did. So because it was tops, they probably just went with the same manufacturing style and put the gum in there because they used the same machines. This one's tough to open, guys. This one's sealed really well. Whoa, gosh, I'm breaking the box a little bit on this one. I can feel it. Yeah. All right. There's no cardboard tear, but boy, that glue was strong. It wasn't coming off either way. All right. What number is this? 10? 10. Opening number 10. Still looking for Atom Bomb. Oh, it's Boney Tony. Not Boney Tony. Dead Ted. This is Dead Ted. It looks like he's, um, his head is, looks like the head is removable, actually, because his head wasn't on there all the way. He is now. But, uh, yeah, looks like they put the head on after the fact. Confirm. Dead Ted. Yeah. Okay, cool. He does not have an accessory, but it's still a pretty cool figure. All right, only two to go. And I'm, I'm getting pretty worried that I'm not going to get Atom Bomb. In my opinion, that's one of the most difficult ones to get because he's such an iconic... I mean, he's on the front of the box. He's such an iconic garbage pail kid. That if I have to get him through third party, it's probably going to cost me more. Especially if he comes with the accessory, the remote. He has a remote. And I have seen listings for him where he does not have the remote in his hand. And I just, I don't want an incomplete set. So if he comes from the factory with a remote and I pick him up, I, I want him to have the remote in his hand. So here we go. Number 11. Oh, oh. There's two in there. What the heck is this? There were two bags, guys. Well, let's figure this out. All right, opening it up. Oh, man, we got him, guys. Look at this. Here he is, Atom Bomb, with his remote, and that's why there's two bags. All right, so I'll put the remote in his hand. I'll put the remote in his hand. Boom. And then I'll open up the second bag, which is obviously his mushroom cloud. Wow. That is spectacular. Look at that. Very cool. What a figure. I would say that's one of the priciest figures. Because he has the detachable. I didn't know it was um, removable. He has the detachable mushroom cloud head. And he has the uh, remote in his hand. Boy, I'm so glad to have gotten him brand new. To have to get this thing, especially with the remote, would have been really difficult. All right. Well, that, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the 11 I got, but we got one more, so here we go. This is the final one. If I, okay, let's let's see. Let's see. If I had to pick, oop, hold on. Bust out the camera for a second. If I had to pick who I want as my last one, who would I pick? I got them all. I got all the ones I wanted. Huh. Yeah. Maybe a Mad Mike? 
but I, I have a mad mic, so it's it's I'm good. I'm my first series collection is complete. Here's the thing. I like that there have been no duplicates. Um maybe the case of 12 was the the real deal that you just get one of each. I, I don't know. I'm surprised that out of 12 if this is if this is Mad Mike then this was absolutely one of each in the case of 12. All right, so here we go. Let's see if this was Mad Mike. Who thinks that this is Mad Mike and that they actually just gave you one of each, which would be really nice of them to do. Well, it's a big box. It could be Mad Mike. Open it up. Yeah, it's him. It's Mad Mike. And he's got his weapons in his hands already. So they gave us one of each one, guys. That is amazing. The case of 12 was a super good deal then. I thought it was going to be random. But you buy the 12, you get the 12. Very cool. Very cool. All right, well, we've got ourselves a 20-minute video here on the full unboxing of the entire case of 12 for the first series of the GPK. I'll see if I can get my hands on the second series. But for now, this is uh, Joe B giving you something different and unboxing the garbage pail figures, the vinyl ones. All right, thanks, everybody. Take care.